Hello and welcome students. Today we are going to discuss two more numericals regarding shear force and bending moment. In yesterday's lecture, we have discussed one numerical of cantilever beam subjected to two point loads only. In that case, there is no UDL present in, on the cantilever beam. But you can see in this figure, there is a cantilever beam subjected to UDL on 1.6 meter length and the value of UDL is 1.5 kN per meter. Now when UDL comes in the picture, how the things are changing? Let us discuss in this numerical. So what is given in the data? Cantilever beam AB 2 meter long carries a uniformly distributed load of 1.5 kN per meter over a length of 1.6 meter from the free end. So you can see in the figure this is the cantilever beam of total 2 meter length but from 2 meter the UDL is only on 1.6 meter length from the free end from the free end B. You can see in the figure there are only three points A, C and B where CB is subject to UDL and AC is free having no load. Draw shear force and bending moment diagrams of the beam. So this is the first diagram which is shear force diagram. And this is the second diagram which is bending moment diagram. Remember that. Remember that when UDL comes into the picture in bending moment diagram we have to draw parabola like this. When UDL comes into the picture in any numericals then we have to draw parabola in the BM diagram only like this bending moment diagram only. Let us see how this diagram comes. One more thing to remember is that in cantilever beams shear force diagram as well as bending moment diagram both are negative. Both are below the x axis always. Okay. Let us see the calculations now in the next page. Yes, you can see this is the calculation. Now understand the calculation very clearly. What is the solution? What is the given data? The span L is 2 meter, means total length of the beam is 2 meter. Uniformly distributed load that is W is 1.5 kN per meter. Length of the cantilever CB carrying a load is equal to 1.6 meter, means this length is A denoted by small a 1.6 meter length and total length is L. Okay. Now we are starting shear force diagram first and calculating the values. Always start from the right side to the left side means from the free end to the fixed end. So what is the free end? Where is the free end? Here it is point B which is free end. You can see point B is free end. While well, the point A is fixed. Okay, point A is fixed. Right? At point B, you can see that there is no vertical load at point B. Okay, the UDL starting that is after point B means from B to C. But on the point B, exactly on the point B, there is no load. So shear force at point B will be zero. Capture my word very precisely. At point B, there is no vertical load, so shear force at B equal to 0. You can see over here, FB is equal to 0. Now, next point after the point B is point C. So at point C, B to C load should be considered. While we are going from B to C, the load starting from B and ending up to C, all the loads are to be considered. And this is the UDL from B to C, which is vertically down. Down means negative. And what is the solution of UDL? You must remember in the support reaction that how the UDL can be solved. It is 1.5 kN per meter and acting on 1.6 meter. So 1.5 is the load and 1.6 is the distance. You can see minus 1.5 into 1.6. That is minus 2.4 kN. Now the unit is kilonewton, not per meter because per meter is multiplied with the distance. So shear force at C, FC will be minus 2.4. So you can see over here at point C, this is the projection of point C and this is the final value which is 2.4 written over here. So 2.4 meter is the height 
with drawn with the help of sketch only okay and join this points b to c with the help of straight line done now coming on to the next point c to a now c to a there is no change there is no extra loads so the diagram from c to a keeps as it is remains horizontal straight line up to point a and at point a fixed support is coming so at point a the beam is ending so you can close the diagram like this there is no load at point a also okay so it is as it is so now with the help of this diagram you can see point a the line is closed this is the joining of a and c which is straight line this is of point c to b joining it is also a straight line and this is the beam a c b so this is the shear push diagram which is entirely negative below the x axis so calculation of shear force at a is also remains same as c 2.4 kN negative because there is no change in load from point c to a so this is how the shear force is calculated you must be very clear about this if any doubts you can solve the queries at your own or you can ask me now going on to the bending moment diagram how the bending moment comes in the into the picture now bending moment is quite tough so please concentrate on the bending moment diagram which is going to be tough let us see the same bending moment diagram same figure now you can concentrate on figure c only bending moment diagram which is also negative how the calculation comes always start from free end to fixed end okay again same method so what is the free end the free end is at point b you can see this is the free end at point b now bending moment method what is the method for finding the bending moment you just see right side of the particular point this is point b so what is right side of point b there is nothing okay there is nothing so no load so point b at point b bending moment is zero so drawn like this zero point now coming on to the next point after b there is a point c next point is c so from b to c the load is considered but we have to find actually bending moment at this point c bending moment at this point c now what is bending moment it is force m to perpendicular distance now what is the value of force acting between b and c it is the udl acting between b and c which is 1.5 m to 1.6 and it is downwards so negative so answer will be like this load 1.5 m to 1.6 okay 1.6 this is negative and this is the load only this is the load only now this load remember in the support reaction this load will act at the center of the length of the udl like this this load will act over here but we have to find bending moment at point c up to this point so from the center of the load to the point c this distance should be multiplied with this load so this distance will be 0.8 meter which is going to be multiplied over here 0.8 meter or you can say it 1.6 by 2 also like this 1.1.6 by 2 also so this equation can become like this it is w into a into a by 2 which means w a square by 2 you can consider like this so whenever udl comes into the picture at point c you can find the moment with this shortcut formula minus because of negative value w a square by 2 downwards value w a square by 2 w means udl a means length on which the udl is acting square and divided by 2 so answer is minus 1.92 kN per meter hope you are very clear with the calculation of point c 
Now let us see the calculation at point A. 1.92 is the answer at point C. So it is thrown over here 1.92. And now it is the parabola. Okay, as per my discussion, whenever the UDL comes into the picture, you have to draw parabola like this to joining the two points. Now let us start with the point A. At point A, what is the value? Total value is negative always. And what is the bending moment at point A? So first of all, 1.5 into 1.6, UDL will be as it is. While calculating the moment at point B, A, all the loads should be considered up to free end to the fixed end. Okay, all the loads in between the beams are considered for final point A. So total load is 1.5 into 1.6, which is acting at the center. Okay, at the center like this, at this point. But we are calculating the moment at this point A. So we have to take the distance. 1.5 to 1.6 is the load. So load is complete. Now this bracket shows the distance, which is to be multiplied. Which is the distance of this load to point A. Which is equal to 0 0.8, means 1.6 by 2. Plus this gap. This gap is of 0.4 meter length you can see in the previous example previous pages okay so this is 2 meter okay this is 2 meter and 1.6 meter is the length of udl so remaining is 0.4 meter you can see this okay so coming back to the calculation 1.5 into 1.6 that is the udl which is acting on the center only so load and the distance multiplied is from the load to this 1.6 by 2 plus 0.4 so we are getting up to the point A. So final answer will be minus 2.88. So at point C the moment is 1.92 negative and at point A minus 2.88. So this is the parabolic curve because of UDL and this is the straight line. This is the straight line. Remember this is the straight line. Okay because there is no UDL in between point A to C. So, hence the diagram is closed now. At point A, draw a vertical line and this is the horizontal beam ACB. So, here how the bending moment diagram can be completed. It is slightly complicated. Just concentrate on your methods and you will get the numerical very well. Let us see one more example. Now, you, be, you will be very much clear. A cantilever beam of 1.5 meter span. So, this is the 1.5 meter span. And acting a UDL 1 kN per meter on that span. No, no, sorry. 1.5 meter is the total length. And from the free end, deduct the 0.5 meter. Then the remaining length is 1 meter from A to C on which UDL 1 kN per meter is acting. Moreover, one point load of 2 kN is also acting at the free end B. This is the SF diagram. This is the BM diagram. UDL is acting from A to C. So joining point is parabola. Joining curve is parabola from point A to point C like this. How the values are coming? Let us see in the next page for the shear force calculation. Yes, here it is. At point B. At point B, now there is a vertical load 2 kN is acting. Which is negative downward so minus. So FB will be minus W means minus 2 kN. So at point B, you can see. There is a negative vertical line of value 2 units. So this is the value of 2 units and the line is vertical now. Coming back to the next point. B to C there is no load. No load so B to C there will be constant line like this. Done. Next. Up to point A from point C to point A there is a UDL. So while calculating the shear force at A, while calculating the shear force at A, all the loads are considered from free end to the point A. Okay. So, which is equal to FC remains as it is minus 2 because no load between B to C. Now, FA, which is negatively, this load 2 kN is first and then after the UDL. UDL is 1 into length is also 1. So, 1 into 1 is the UDL and 2 is the point load. So final answer will be minus 3 kN which is drawn over here at point A minus 3 kN. So which is the CR force at point A. Joining the lines from point A to point C straight line, straight line 
and all the lines are straight lines. So this is the SF diagram completely. No parabola. Parabola is in the bending moment diagram only. Now let us check the bending moment calculation also so that you will be very clear. Yes, this is the picture. Bending moment diagram again starting from point B. There is nothing on the right side of point B. So bending moment at point B must be zero. What is the bending moment at point C? Uh, while calculating the bending moment at point B is it is zero. While cal calculating the bending moment at point C, consider the right side section of point C on which two kilonewton load is acting. Uh, what is bending moment? It is negative because downward motion of two kilonewton force. Uh, what is bending moment? It is force into perpendicular distance. So force is two kilonewton and perpendicular distance up to point C is 0.5 meter. So multiply 2 by 0.5, you will get minus 1 kN into meter. So this is the moment at point C, minus 1 kN per meter. Joining with the help of straight line because there is no UDL in between C to B. But now from C to A, there is a UDL, so joining will be parabola from C to A. But before that, calculate the bending moment at point A. So while calculating the point, bending moment at point A, all the loads are considered acting on the beam from free end to fixed end. So starting from the free end and multiply the distance up to point A. So first load is 2 kN, which is downward means negative. And the total distance will be 1.5 meter up to point A. So 2 into 1.5 is the first moment and is negative. Okay. Now next one is UDL. UDL is 1 into length is also 1. So 1 into 1 is the load only. But where is the UDL acting? It is acting exactly at this point, means at the center of the UDL. From this center, the distance up to point A is half of 1. Because total UDL length is 1. So this distance is half of 1. So half of 1 means 1 by 2. So by calculating the total answer, you will get minus 3.5 kN into meter. So at point A, you can see this line ending at minus 3.5 and the joining with the help of parabola, joining with the help of parabola like this. So this is the bending moment diagram completed up to point A, C and B. So now you are just getting this answers. Okay, this is the joining with the help of parabola. So students, these are the numericals based on cantilever beams only. We have discussed three numericals turn by turn. Just remember or recall the values. In the first numerical, there are two point loads only. No UDLs. In the second numerical, there is no point load. Only and only UDL is acting. While in the third case, in the case number three, on the cantilever beam, one point load at free end is acting and also UDL is acting on the beam. So these are the three main cases which can be asked in your exams. So practice these numericals. Here our first topic is completed of cantilever beam. In the next lecture we will start the simply supported beam. But before that just practice these numericals very well to understand the matter. Thank you very much students.